But I, I mean, I've just, I've just started. And, it, and it's hard for me not to project myself onto it, even though I don't think I'm right for it. Uh, I think that, I think that him, I think him would be great. I think him would be great. I mean, if I were directing it, I'd want to find somebody who's unknown. Personally. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Barcelona. Hi, thank you. Um, 20 years ago, I was introduced to Frank and yes. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to know what was your first impression of the vampire world? When did you first learn about vampires and his mythology? Uh, I, think, I think the first uh, uh, real impact for me with vampires was about the film that Joel Schumacher directed called Lost Boys, uh, I think in the late 80s. And I think that, that movie, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Fright Night and, uh, and a few other films in the late 80s or early 90s that I really, really love. But Bram Stoker is hands down my favorite, favorite uh, vampire film. And then, and then Lost Boys, without a doubt. Hey, Matt. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. So, if you could pick an actor, past or present, to play the life of Matt Davis, who would you choose and why? Oh man, that's a great question. Uh, I want to say Paul Newman. <laughs> cool. Why not? Why not? I mean, I can pick anybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is going to be the last question. Can we expect on Twitter some stories inspired on your days here in Barcelona and Bloody Night Club? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm writing some stuff. Oh, are you already? You already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah,